I just want to acknowledge that we are standing here today with our colleague, Representative Khan, um, but we stand with her and every victim and survivor in the state of Connecticut every day. And that's one of the reasons why we have uh, several proposals that we expect to champion this year to support the safety and dignity of sexual violence victims and survivors. And this came to bear, I think, for many of us, not through representative, only Representative Khan's experience, but we hear from constituents on a regular basis. And most recently in the fall, many of us participated in a screening of a documentary, Victim Suspect, uh, that provided very disturbing instances, uh, two particularly in Connecticut of note, uh, where sexual assault victims themselves uh, ended up being accused of false reporting. And this gets at the heart of the experiences of so many victims uh, with law enforcement and our committal justice system. It's one of the reasons why uh, we are working closely with our public safety committee and have a bill uh, that I'll share, which is House Bill 5399, uh, that is about developing a model policy uh, for criminal justice response to sexual assault. This was similarly developed for a domestic violence response, so we know that it can be effective and that it can really be a collaborative approach between law enforcement and our victim advocates and victims themselves to make sure uh, that these crimes are addressed properly, investigated properly, uh, and that victims are truly supported through the process. Uh, one of the other things that has come to bear, especially in the support of victims and survivors, is just a recognition of the true health effects and trauma from such an incident. And that's why uh, we recently heard in the Labor Committee, I want to acknowledge uh, Senator Kushner here as chair of the Labor Committee, a bill, Senate Bill 222, which recognizes this trauma and ensures that victims of, fi of uh, sexual assault could similarly get the benefit that family violence victims do of safe leave. This would ensure that folks uh, who have been through the experience of sexual assault can have up to 12 days off to address those health needs, those range of needs in pursuing that sexual assault claim. And we think that is essential, not just to support uh, these victims in that time of need, but to recognize that they should not have to choose between their livelihood and their health uh, once they have been a victim of sexual assault. So again, we hope that these two bills, House Bill 5399 and Senate Bill 222, uh, are a part of this breadth of bills that can really support the dignity and safety of sexual assault victims and survivors in our state. Thank you so much, and thank you again to Representative Khan.